This is a theme song. expect anything oh god there's so many mouth sounds going the podcast with three men and not a lot else uh across from me to my left uh shaking his head at my loud oh boy and uh giving me the death stare your eyebrows are really really sharp today On it's fleek. joshua grinnick how are you oh thank you that's thank all right you. i'm pretty sharp in my eyebrows i honed them i honed my eyebrows oh cool just for this event do you hone you do you do you like keep up te- upkeep on your eyebrows yeah i do this move i don't know how it's going to translate to sound oh, maybe you I'll can see, describe I'll it see. so he's licked he's licking, his two he licked his pointer and, and his pinky and then he and put then him on the insides of his eyebrows and pushed to the outside yeah yeah it was really smooth as, as if to, uh, preparing for some sort of date and to my right date uh explaining the Sweet ass eyebrow moves and still chewing the remnants of his lunch. Hugh Davies, how are you? Um, I eat food and I know how to get ladies in the mood. Nice dude. Because was, he was like doing a dad describe that. So it's like I'm a Casanova, but I also cook a man sandwich. What a weird brand that is. <laughs> I'm, I'm nothing thing. if not uh, specific. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to you guys. Me. To the recording mm-hmm. studio, it's just our living room, and we're at a table, we're on the studio this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't feel like we're really living, though. We're on <laughs> We're not only living? What's wrong? You know, we could be, uh, we never go camping. <laughs> you want to go camping? You want to do an episode while we're camping? Yeah, that'd actually be sure. cool. Sure. Oh, okay. I guess, look, stay this tuned. This is portable. Stay tuned for the camping episode. I'd actually Live from the bush. Yeah. From the yeah. bush, dude. Let's go. When is everyone free? When are we uh, all doing? We'll do it. We'll do it. 2020. All right, yeah, see you in 2020. June 2020. Okay. All right. Get that episode 2020. Uh, that'll come along sooner than you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in a blink of an eye, I'll be in a tent in the middle of episode the... 305. <laughs> it, would that be it? No. Okay. Uh, this is episode 24, I think. Uh, if it's not, then I'll put an edit in. Uh, <laughs> but we're here to talk about the topic we put out last week, which mm. was what would be your survival tactic in prison? Uh, did you write this one here? I did write this one. Oh, so do you want to start one. us off? As you've been thinking about it, because you wrote this uh, uh, down. Well, see, I didn't. I didn't want to be presumptuous and think that I would be the smartest person in prison if I were to go there. Because sure. you don't know, yeah. like people could be in there for. What like, crime you know? are you committing? Are you going <laughs> to, do we get to pick up crime? Why are you going to blue collar prison or white collar prison? Because if white collar prison, <laughs> it's just like a fancy uh, hotel. It's just hotel, like a less yeah, fancy yeah. hotel. You just low eat. security, max security. Well, Gen- should we just say we all committed the same crime, so we're all in the same situation? Oh, yeah, we're like a gang of robbers. Called the, we're not in the same prison, though. Called the... Oh. The cobbers. You can do that if you want. We can do our solo strategy and solo then group strat. strategy. Let's go solo strategy. You can't strat- gun stuff. They're because we're so good at breaking in and stealing money and escaping, they had to separate us into different prisons. Well, let's say I was in a, I'm in a run-of-the-mill <laughs> yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 we're a medium security prison. Yeah. prison. Just a regular... Yeah, yeah just regular a regular prison. Okay, what are you doing? It would probably be something to do with... As you can tell, I've really thought about it. Mm-hmm. Getting, like, finding out which factions are which, and then, like, you know, because obviously all the prisons have different, like, gangs and yes, rivalries obviously. and stuff. Obviously. And then, That's what I've seen on TV. My thing would be, like, stay in the background, but try and manipulate things like uh, tension between those gangs so that they're all punching on with each other and fighting and, and trying to destroy each other. And I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just back against the wall, just chilling out, doing my time. Yeah, but I'm secretly manipulating stuff. I'm a subterfuge, yeah. subtle. I feel Ooh, he's okay. little fingering it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. that guy. I'm and then he Peter might Bailey. be little fingering some people just to stay yeah. safe. Look, if I had to commit some some sexually deviant acts just to just to just to get along in the world, let's do it. I feel mm-hmm. like the tightrope we're walking is not to be offensive. Speaking of tight ropes, oh. <laughs> uh, we're on the puppets here because we obviously don't know what prison's like, but. You know. for yourself. So I think hard time when I was eight. <laughs> oh, eight! What did you? What crime did you commit? Uh, cooties. Co- oh. You got. You gave too many cooties away. He invented and spread cooties yeah. oh. to the general oh. public. Yeah, and you were put against the Geneva Convention. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weapon of mass dist- ass destruction. Sure, I said that before. Josh, right. what are you starting with your solo? Uh, well, I think you just you sort of said it. Like, ass we destruction. Should, yeah, we should destroy all asses. Oh. No, no, we should probably un- have an idea of what prison's going to be like. 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. We, I'd go to some people who have been to prison. <laughs> Research before <laughs> yeah. you go in. Before you go in. Yeah, like, I'm like, no, I know I'm going to be found guilty. guilty and, uh, I gotta go yeah, yeah I, I, did, I did. I killed it. I killed I'd it. probably uh, try to develop a way to separate mind from body very well. Mm. Just mm. if I have to. Oh, Jesus <laughs> like, Christ. Yeah, it's a rough place. Oh my I might God. do some rough things and I won't want to know about it. the first thing he came up with was rough things. Well, he's because just being a realist. It's prison. I want to be the. Like, I want to be the. It's lion. not a jumping castle. It's not a tumbled playhouse. Right? I try to change it. I'd learn a lot of like interior decorating and like we do. Oh, he's trying to physically change, yeah. not like try to change the mentality. But no, uh, yeah. a, few, a few throw pillows. Like, yeah. Pad, like Paddington Two, where he comes in and just makes the whole prison like a nice. No, piece. I haven't seen that. Oh, he just like comes in and then starts redecorating the prison. He starts cooking marmalade sandwiches for Yum. everyone. Then by the end of the t- marmalade, by the time he's like he he escapes. Everything is pink and pastel colors, and there's little uh-huh. tables, and everyone's eating marmalade sandwiches. That and sounds nice. Tough Brits are like all in love with this bear, and they're all having fun. Sounds like oh, you can watch. Yeah, I'd, I'd Paddington it up. Paddington and Paddington Two are fantastic movies. No joke. They're like enjoyably really fun, sweet, cute movies. Let's watch them. I've, I've yeah. already seen them, but yeah, okay. You've seen everything. Let's do a let's do a podcast on Paddington and Paddington Two. We'll call it uh, Padding it out. Padding it out. <laughs> the Paddington <laughs> sequel movie. Um, <laughs> I want to be the library bitch. The guy who just goes to the library and just like the book with the book cart. Yeah, with the book cart and just puts yeah. books back. And I'm still like out. you're obviously dealing like heroin in there, or like well, you know, dr- prison drugs. If in things books. happens to conspire, is where I am crossing paths with a heroin dealer who can definitely beat me up. I'm gonna say yes, I guess. See, I yeah, and like then you could get in with one of the gangs as well. You could be like the wisecrack and like you don't you never involved in any of the beatings or shankings or anything. But like mm-hmm. you're just the guy who rolls past with the book cart and like gives books them, <laughs> and gives them like a funny quip and then yeah. you just keep on. You got you got books to deliver. You yeah, yeah. Go. So, so, so they're like, oh, I love that. Book can, can I give you a scenario and then you give me the quip? Yeah, because yeah. not okay. So uh, uh, we're in the you're you're in you're going past the you're rolling your cart by the toilets and the showers. In the showers, you three you see three. Uh, white men beating up a Hispanic gentleman. What's the quip there for that scenario? Uh, keep up the good work, boys. Oh, that's the quip. Okay, okay, okay. give me, give me one. I want to see. If I can Crime and it. punishment. Am I right? Okay. It's a book by Dostoevsky. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Um, that would be like a general one you say to like people when you meet them. Like, ah, oh, crime yeah. and punishment. Am Dostoevsky. I right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me, give me one of these prison quips. Uh, wait, I'm giving you a situation? You give me Yeah, no, and I'll try and do the you roll your cart. You're rolling your cart through the uh, the cafeteria area, and you yeah. see someone get like, you see two guys beating each other with metal trays. Okay, okay. Uh, two metal trays. They're getting, they're bashing each other with metal trays. Yeah. Uh, where's the beef? I'll say to them. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> okay. Is it supposed to be, is it supposed to be literary or... No, I was like, oh, I was trying to think of the literary prison. No, 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 I was like, where's okay. the where's the beef? Oh, because we're in the cafeteria. That's good, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're beefing each other. That's a good one. Yeah. It, it took me. I was like, I is there a self help book called Where's the Beef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't edit out any silence. That's I came up with that immediately. Now, uh, yeah, I'll, I Josh, I'll give you a uh, a uh, scenario oh, where oh, okay. you are a dog and you're reacting to something. <laughs> <laughs> a dog Dario. We talked about dog Dario. We never did one of those. I know. I'm missing a dog Dario, but I think you're a dog in prison. You're a dog in prison. You're the prison guard. Dog, go guard dog. You're a yeah. prison guard dog, and you see, uh, uh, a, uh, uh, you see a guard making a prisoner go down on him. How do you react? Well, that as a dog, be, that'd be regular. Just I wouldn't say anything. I'd be a, you wouldn't say anything uh, as a dog. Not even, a, not even a wine. But okay, <laughs> but you think the penis is some sort of food that you want, but the guard is the the prisoner. Oh is well, getting. then it'd go up, and I'd be trying to lick and like. So can you audi- can you audibly it. do that? Uh, what well, does dog make sense? Like, yeah. This has to be right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah no, get him, get him, like, He's uh, he's looking up to the side. No, okay, so no, I'd chain. be like putting, I'd be pushing my face in there, and then nice. I'd be looking up at the guard's yeah, face and, and, and a little bit at the other person, but mostly the guards because it's like they're holding. Sure. It. And what sound would you make? Um, I think I just. <sighs> Just breathe heavily a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. and then the, and the, the, bit of the prisoner, the prisoner, the prisoner springs to his feet and okay. pushes the guard against the wall and makes a run for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> but I can't do it. <laughs> it's a big, big one. Yeah, go go go. Right. go, go. <laughs> He does sound like a small dog. Yeah, yeah. but like, I, I, a Pomeranian in a, in a cute little security outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine How that. are you going to run for that? the hat. Prisoner looks over his shoulder. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> and he bites your face off. Yeah. yeah. Little Pomeranian fucker. Yeah. Pomeranians are cute. My first dog was a Pomeranian called Bo. A pommy. He pommy. was He was around before I was and then died... While I was when you were born, did you take that dog's life? uh, It was a life for a life. Mm. No, he was around for a little bit. I remember the day he was put down. That was a sad day. (laughs) Some guy, some vet came over to our house, 
and uh, did it in the backyard. And so my dad was out there, and me, my mum, and my sister... <laughs> like a backyard magician for a party. Yeah. Just, he just puts down your dog. <laughs> yeah. So my mum, my sister, and I were sitting in the uh, dining room, and my dad was at the back with the vet, and uh, I just... Because uh, then my sister goes, oh, I can hear it. And you said, oh, oh, oh. And then he just, like, stopped. And then my dad came in, like, 20 minutes later after having dug the grave and buried the dog in the backyard. And I was like, yeah, it's done. And we were just sitting on the table, sad. And we Better like, ending right, would have thanks. been dead dog crashes through the window onto the, <laughs> room, like, onto the table. Yeah, that would have been a great story. Really scarred I, I watched my dog get put down at the vet. You Ooh. watched it happen? Yeah. Oh. They were like, oh, because like, they sedate the dog so it's like doesn't like, yeah. know it's being killed, whatever. And they were like, oh, like, do you want to stay or do you want to leave? And I was like, I'll stay. Like, yeah. see what happens. And then they just get like, there was like a syringe with this bright green liquid. And they, yeah, inject it. And like six, seven seconds later, the dog's just dead. It's like bra. Yeah, it's like Molly and me. That's the only time I've seen a dog get put. Molly down. and me. Molly and me. Isn't that a film? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, so also, my dog's name is my, Molly. <laughs> my dog at the moment is called Molly. So that yeah. was very confusing. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. No, that's the the dog. My sister named our dog after that film because she loved it so much. I haven't uh, seen it. Uh, yeah, it, you, it's got Owen Wilson. How do you reckon your uh, <laughs> it's got Owen wow. Wilson? How do you reckon your movie trivia would go over with inmates? <laughs> with like, inmates, like how do you think your movie knowledge would go over? Do you reckon you'd be able to find? Yeah. Well, people? hold on. There's always like a movie night, I assume. Like a, yeah, you have to say there's a cliche night. movie night. I could do like the I could stand up front and go give them some background information for the people who arrive early, and they'll be like, "Oh, Jeremy, you're the movie." Now, guy. now, would your name still be Jeremy? What Is would it your prison the... nickname be? Oh, My yeah. prison nickname. <sighs> uh, it's Spectacles. You may, you well, what would no, no? You don't get your own nickname. What would the you give me? Inmate skip. So yeah, okay. If you would, you didn't know me. Guy. I walk in, hey boys, and I walk in and I like, <laughs> and I'm on the, I'm on the cart. I'm putting books away, making quips. What would you? What nickname would you give me? Uh, Dewey. Dewey. Because the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, that's a pretty good one. I like that as well. Uh, Call me Triple D. Why? Um, oh, I guess there's an S in there. Call me DDS. <laughs> No, I'm calling you Dewey. Down to suck. Down hey, to Dewey. Down to, so Dewey, give me a copy of Gone with the Wind. All right, all right, scrambles. Here you go. Hey, thanks. <laughs> hey. No problem, man. I'm going to scramble these pages. No, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do Makes that. Are you going to sort them, eh? Oh, God, scrambled and Dewey would be such... Like, like you work in the cafeteria, morning right? DJ. <laughs> no, it'd be just like, uh, you know, yeah, classic yeah. prison sitcom. I make the eggs. I'm an egg guy. Where Dewey makes... Does the decimal system right, and then Scramble comes in and messes it all up, and I have to do it all over. Yo, scramble. scramble! And Dewey. Right, what would his prison nickname? What would Josh's Josh? nickname yeah. be? <laughs> Big, dog. Big, Big, dog. Dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Well, you would be a uh, small dog. Oh, <laughs> small bitch. Small fry. Uh, I, um, a sticks. I'd be sticks. I call you easy. Oh, oh that's good. I like it. Yeah, easy. You're just easy to uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Easy, easy as a Sunday fuck. I don't call know me, Call me Clown's Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh. CB, for sure. He's always pulling shit out of his butt. I'm going to feel a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. It was Why'd anyway. you agree? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, then, and then like those cheeks of his. Not the butt cheeks, the actual yeah, butt cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good cheeks on um, anyone else got any prison stuff, or should I pick another topic? Um, Maybe we should do a two-topic... Alright, let's like some scenario. Tundra. Yeah, I was trying to think of a T word, and that, that probably was at the bottom of the list, but... What do you got, Josh? Do you have anything before I no, pick no, up? No, no, no. Let's go. Yeah, you got to get those uh, sounds. I picked one. I chose one. And so, uh, the new topic... Which animal would make the best lawyer? Oh! <laughs> That's a spicy term there. Uh, I, 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 my initial thoughts went to badger. Mine was owl. Yours was. Oh, I can imagine a badger at the briefcase and the suit and being all. I love yeah, badger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what first? What animal initially came to your head? Giraffe, but it didn't. Giraffe. Um, okay. But I couldn't make sense of it. It was just the first. Well, animal yeah, neither badger. That's the first thing we thought of. Okay, <laughs> no, no, okay. badger makes sense from Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's what I was thinking. That or he was a uh, was he a lawyer? No, I don't he know, a, but he was wearing a suit. I think he was a uh, he was something to do with like managing animals. his money. But yeah. badgers, I um, and even like uh, the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, that badger was money savvy. Yeah. So right, the badger a stoat or something because they're sly, like sly and they look good in a, in a suit. Oh, I guess if we're talking about lawyers, like a fox or something, mm. they're really sneaky. But in my defense sneaky of a badger, though. they seem to have oh, I got one. Yeah, I got one. They seem to be sturdy and resilient. They know how to shore up a defense against mm-hmm. water. So why not? 
a legal case. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Can you say shore up a defense against water? Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> what? Uh, so many puns. <laughs> uh, what did you say, Hugh? I said an owl. An owl. Oh, okay. Um, I could see an owl being a judge, but convince me about it being a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Should I present my case? Yes, please. Uh, I just, it's just the first animal that came to mind. Okay. I was like, an owl would look good in a suit. Yeah. Also, when it's like talking to the, uh, like, you know, the witness for the whatever, like the prosecution. Yeah. And he's, he gets like a, a some sort of admission out of him, whatever. He can turn mm. his head full 180 to look at the other, like, oh. you know, at the yeah. oh. other bench and be like, oh, you see that? Yeah. Or like he can be walking towards his defendant and like get a, like a cool comment out of him and then turn look at the judge and be like, with his head swiveling. So that's, that's pretty good. That's a point. Mm. That's pretty good. And Just... owls, wise. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Wise animals. Well, here's my, do you think it's better for that wise animal to be the judge. I'm yeah. thinking, yeah, because he's presiding over everything. Are we he's... making an animal court? <laughs> no, what I, what I was going to say is, <laughs> yeah. we, we, we try to pres- be these characters. Can it be we... Judge Hooty? Judge Hooty. Yeah. Instead okay, of Judge, judge Hooty. Uh, Josh, you said giraffe, or you... Like, I did say giraffe. You switched it over to something. I'm thinking of a, like, a bald eagle. Oh, yeah, a bald eagle. Exactly. Yeah, like the birds idea. Well, is it a conflict of interest that in American courts, the eagle is hanging above... Because it's on the, uh, it's on like those big... Uh, is this an American court? Oh, yeah, which could be a court in Venezuela. Venezuelan court? Yeah. Alright, I'll call it Venezuelan right, animal good. court. Venezuela. The AC. Population. Animal Crack. And uh, why a eagle? It looks like they're already wearing the suit, like their heads. A different colour than the nice, rest. Nice, they don't even have to get dressed. They're all ready just to go. What about a penguin then? then? Oh, oh yeah. yeah penguin. Penguin. Going you tie a tie on it? <laughs> but my... Oh, also, but with the giraffe, I, I imagine the tie... Like, yeah. Would you have it from the bottom or from the very top yeah. of the neck? <laughs> You'd have to have it a really long tie. Yeah, that'd be an amazing tie. Yeah, yeah. Imagine imagine buttons would be on the shirt going all yeah. the way up. What about I'm yeah. still imagining these animals are wearing, are wearing nothing but ties. It's really cute. But uh, so my badger goes up against your. Who, what, uh, <laughs> it's not a fight. Should I be, should I be the defendant or in a. Um... Uh, I'm going to stick with the bald eagle. Okay, you're going to be the prosecution, I'll be the defender. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, you're the uh, you're the you're the owl judge. Owl judge. All right, bring. Uh, uh, oh, someone should be the. You be the. Uh, yeah, you be the, the, the you be the bailiff as well and announce the case, and then we'll. Who's the bailiff? He. Oh, wait, wait, so wait, 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 the wait, bailiff wait. is like an ox or something. Prosecution, <laughs> defense. Yeah. Uh, Josh is prosecution. Uh, I'll be defense as badger, and you are the <laughs> a judge Hooty the owl, and yeah. you're the bailiff, and you present the case, and we'll right. argue against each other. All right. In the criminal justice system. The animals are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The pigs, who investigate the crime, and the various animal district attorneys, who prosecute the offenders. Is it a sort of weird animal racism that the cops are all pigs but any animal can be a lawyer? Probably. These are their stories. Horrible right. Judge Hootie now in uh, now in session. Nice. Oh, we're all right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh god, that's full. It's full of water. Uh, do you want this? I need a gavel. Oh, hey, yeah. I got. I got a gavel. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's nice. Good gavel. Standing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to stand up. You're the judge. I'm, oh, the, I'm, the, the, I'm, the, I'm the. Every other character. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, continue, continue, continue. God is now in session. Wait, wait, are we Venezuela? <laughs> yeah, we're in Venezuela. Can we be in like Georgia or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In Georgia, yeah, let's go Georgia. The court is now in session. Oh. All right, for the Honorable Judge Hootie. Hootie, <laughs> You may take your seat. Thank you. So I have to present the case or whatever? Yeah, you have so to. It's my first day on the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a rhino you, bailer. You should ask, what I'm doing. You should ask a defendant what you have to do. Uh, yeah, uh, no, you just gotta present us a case. Case of uh, Badger versus. Well, no, we're the, we're the lawyers. We need our clients. So, like. <laughs> you need so much <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. So, I am a, a, a snake. Please, everyone introduce yourself to the court. <laughs> so, I am uh, Badgerino. That's my name, Badgerino. I'm a badger. And I am, the de- I am defending Silver Snake. He has been charged of robbing. A uh, a, uh, a dam, a dam. He burst into a family's home, the dam, and he stole uh, a lot of twigs. Oh, and you're the prosecution, yeah, yeah. And I... you're the, you're defending the badger family. It's a real conflict of interest for me because <laughs> badgers, wait, badgers make dams, right? Beavers, beavers, yeah. you're beavers. Yeah. Shit, beaver family. beaver family was robbed by this silver snake, mm-hmm. and now I'm judge and defending him. Gold is now in, in session. Case of uh, theft of twigs. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, who goes first? Uh, wait, so it's the, the it's defense? Silver Snake, oh, and uh, represented by Badgerino. Yo, uh, yo, 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 what's up? Is the defending party and prosecution for the uh, for the trial is. Eagle. Sorry, sir. Eagleton <laughs> Stanley. Eagleton, Eagleton Stanley. Eagleton Stanley, Eagleton Stanley, Stanley, Stanley <laughs> defending the Badger family. Right, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll first up to the stand, we want a witness for the uh, prosecution. Witness, witness for the prosecution. Oh, okay, all right. You're oh, yeah. Do you? Can you present me with a witness? Yeah, please? I'd like to call up the otter. Oh, otter! <laughs> Calling to the stand, the otter. Yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, you gotta ask him questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, otter. Um, Am I not going to swear on a Bible? <laughs> Can you please please state your name? Otto. <laughs> Otto the Os- the Otto is the correct. The force at the end. Right. Where were you the night uh, of the the aforementioned twig theft? Uh, I was uh, on my way to visit my friends at the dam, at their dam. Sorry, yes. And uh, from my records, it says you you've seen something along your way, on the walk to the dam. I saw a slippery uh, snake man leaving with an armful of twigs, I believe. Yeah. Well, there we have it. There we well, have it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold Leading the witness. Leading the witness. <laughs> I didn't play like doing this at all. I'm, you I'm, I'm I'll allow it. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Otter, um... That's just what I believe I do, thought. Do you think it's possible for you to recognise any particular twig or group of twigs? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I know what a twig looks like, but, but, uh, but one from, specific twig yeah. from another, perhaps not. It would be pretty much impossible. Yes. Uh, that's not me at all. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm up against tough competition. <laughs> the badgers are just like... <laughs> I, want, I want to say that my badger puts, the his, hand, family, he puts his hand on the microphone and whispers intently to the snake. Um, yeah. Are you done? Are you... Um, what's, your, what's your relationship to the uh, beaver family? Oh, it's, the good old, it's the good friend, the chum of Mr. Beavers. <laughs> and do you, have you seen uh, this snake before? No, no, I can't say his name to me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right, then. Puts a hole in your other face. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. All right. Uh, I'm finished. All right. All right. Uh, st- wait, how's what was my other voice? <laughs> <laughs> the all right, Dan. Uh, Calling to the stand, the uh, witness for the defense. Oh. Oh, I'm Badgerino. I'm Badger. Mr. Otto, I take it. Yes. Uh, Otto's known for their night vision. Uh, no. And the uh, crime happened to take place while the badgers were sleeping. Uh, beavers were sleeping, is that correct? Uh, that is probably correct. So what I was on my way to visit them, I don't know why they'd be in bed. But... Well, well, yeah, what were you doing out so like, Why were you visiting these beavers in their dam when otters aren't typically known for being near great bodies of water? I was running a little late. Late? And they were asleep? I suppose they were, yeah. Oh, so what are you doing out and about? I was going to visit them, but I... Permission to I... treat the witness as hostile. <laughs> I'll allow it. What were you doing in the dam, Otto? I was visiting my friends. And so you came up with this whole story about a snake. You just latched onto it. You're where you're. Well, I saw him leaving on the way. You saw him leaving. You said you couldn't wit- de- identify this snake I before. I saw a snake-like figure. Snake-like <laughs> figure. So it could have been anything. Could have been an asp. Could have been an adder. And this silver snake. You're you're you're, you're per- persecuting. Are you a racist, All Mr. Otto? All silver under the light of the moon. You are. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm working on a book of poetry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Could you read some for us? Here. <clears throat> oh, boy. It's just a gavel for the poetry. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, judge. I judge the judge's gavel. <laughs> you took the judge's, Otto took the judge's gavel. Uh, Otto's the also <laughs> sleepy like snake. Right? Will you allow this judge? I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, this judge is really yeah, easy. Right? All snakes are silver under the light of the moon. All snakes are slippery so they get in the womb. <laughs> Snakes have a forked tongue. I'd like to lick lips. Snakes are quite slippery. I, uh, they give me the slips. That's just, a, that's just an opening. <laughs> uh, standing I'm done. Okay. That's just the opening stanza. Uh, your witness, sir, for the cross cross examination. Cross examination. Um, I like to call up the snake. What, you have to... You, know, <laughs> the, the, you can't call the defense. This, oh, this, this wasn't on the, the, the witness list. Order, order in the court. It was on the witness list. All right, all right. Are you going to allow this out, Mr. Hootie? What's he's, trying, it, what's no, he's trying to bring my client up on the stand, but it wasn't in the witness list. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'll allow it. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> judge is a punk bitch. All right. Go up there, silver snake. Okay. <laughs> all right. No. Uh, s- s- silver, silver snake... Um, yes. <laughs> how can you explain the twigs you currently have in your possession? 
These twigs? Yes, these twigs you brought to the court of law. <laughs> well, I was... I was... There's actually a splint for my whole body. As yeah. you see, I was working in the lab late one night, <laughs> and I accidentally <laughs> fell down, and I broke my body. And this is a splint from the doctor. These are sticks tied to me. There's nothing to do with uh, any crimes whatsoever. Do you have uh, any document proving that you went to the doctor? Uh, yes, here you go. Hand him to the bailiff there. All right. Uh, oh. Yes. I think we'll... <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> it's the bailiff. <laughs> I thought he was a big old ox. Yeah, he's a Japanese ox. This is... Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Here's the, here you go. Oh, do you never see a Japanese dog run before? Uh, I like to uh, put in a question that uh, this proves that he was not there because he was in the hospital getting uh, fitted for a cast. Well, while it does say uh, that he was injured, it doesn't give a time on the cast. It doesn't have a time? It doesn't give a time uh, on the form here that I can see, quite frankly. Order uh, in my court! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The questioning will continue. I'll allow it. Upheld. I would like to call in my next witness. You, I haven't even cr- examined yeah. this wisdom. I haven't yeah, cross-examined right. this. Well, hold on, hold on. Uh, I want to talk to my... Order <laughs> in my court. Oh, I wish there would be order. I wish there would be order. <laughs> All I do is bang the gavel and you make the order happen. Right. I want to call a recess. Call in a recess. All right. We'll, re- 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 we'll return in 15. Reconvene in 15. All right. Wicka, wicka. Silver snake, silver snake, silver snake. Did you give me the wrong document because it's supposed to have the date and time on it now I never ask my clients if they actually committed a crime but we're getting close to the end did you commit this crime 1000% yes <laughs> you definitely did of course shit this is going to be hard to like, arr, I can arr. I can hear you whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. what we can, I, can, I hear what you I heard what oh you said. no <laughs> whoa, 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 I was whispering there <laughs> It's it's quiet. Everyone's gone to recess. Fuck you and me. Like, Fuck that Al has that, that Al has great hearing. I forgot about that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Very exciting. Ah! <laughs> all right, we have reconvened. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go, look. Seal snake. The jury love snakes. They're being your favor. Cut to jury. It's just twelve birds. <laughs> <laughs> the jury, have you reached a verdict after this incredibly short and confusing case? Yes. We're and there. what do you, uh, what is the verdict? We find the defendant guilty. And what is your recommended sentence? Death <laughs> by picking. So shall it be written? What? So shall nah, it be written? Nah, I'm going to appeals court. You can't just get, you go, well, what? 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 They're taking him away. They're taking him away. No, no, no. no. Oh. I mean, you can't put him in cuffs. And then the badger, just... <laughs> then the badger walks out of the courtroom and is like, "Well, I'm a defense attorney. Who the fuck cares?" And he goes into his next case. And that is my scathing indictment of uh, the legal system. Yeah. What a play! Bravo! 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 Uh, thank you to Hugh Davies for playing Hooty the Owl, uh, Judge ba- Bailiff, uh, Ox, Racist Japanese Bailiff, and uh, sometimes know, Silver Snake. Josh for playing the wonderful, uh, who are you again? Oh, Eagle, <laughs> Eagle, jo- Eagle, yeah, Eagleton Stanley. Eagleton Stanley. <laughs> Come on. And I'll, I'll take credit for uh, playing Badgerino the Badger and sometimes Silver Snake wonderfully. What a, what a, what a performance. Well, the, poetry, poetry. the poetry. The poetry. <laughs> that was, that was That was glorious. Scary. Um, I think we've concluded that after that case, the eagle is the best lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Won the case. Yeah, he won the case. He won the case. Yeah, that was empirical. And, and uh, on that shocking note, it's time to end this uh, "Don't Expect Anything" episode. Uh, how long have we been going for? Has it been long enough? <laughs> is it been? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had enough. Right. Get enough friends. I'll do a, we'll do a really long. That was episode. a that was a fourteen minute improvised <laughs> animal courtroom sketch. <laughs> Whoa, we've really given you fucking solid gold. <laughs> uh, before we leave, uh, let's pull out another topic. Because the jar's near me, I'll give it to Josh. <laughs> no, did you see that? This one. Nice. He's flinging, he's slinging slips. Slinging slips. Slinging. Oh, oh, it's on a... It's on, a it's piece, on an envelope. It's on an envelope. <laughs> Postage paid Australia. Nice. Right. I think it's on the back. Yeah, yeah. This means someone sent this in? Oh, snail mail? Oh, no. Snails would be a great defense attorney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what, what's, uh, what's the uh, topic for next week, next episode? Tell us some of your best 
Travel shenanigans. Travel shenanigans. Another shenanigans. Yeah, oh, that's I'm a looking good question. Right, right at Hugh there because uh, I, I assume you've got the best shenanigan stories. I got some shenanigans. You got yeah. some travel shenanigans. Some shen- sh- 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 well, mm. if that isn't a, a fucking exciting tease for yeah, next week, I don't know what is. Uh, be be sure to check out next week where Hugh just brags about all the places he's been, and Josh and I just kind of laugh like we care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been places. Brand you've been yeah. places too. You fucking. Yeah. Say it. Say tourist? Was oh. <laughs> 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 he calling me a tourist, bro? Uh, you calling me a tourist? Johnny Depp, Angelina Jolie, the tourist? Yeah. We work better as a team. We are a good team. A whole group. Let's, let's, really, let's really sell that. Team Australia. No, don't, I don't want to represent Australia. Team Australia, green and gold. Oh, Lamington's man. front porch. Clothes lines. Out the back. Barbies. Barbies. Shrimps on them. Oh, uh, yeah, being on them, yes. Being oh, grilled. Prawns on them, sorry. Kathy Freeman. Oh, uh, we being. Made, a, we made Wi Fi. That's pretty good. Being a not free man because our country was built on convicts. Yes, mm. yes. Um, but the cream of the Australian crop is this here podcast. Mm. And if you agree with us, give us a like on at DEA Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, if you want to email us your praise, it's just, That's, yeah. It's, we, we screen everything else. So. We, yeah, yeah, nothing else matters except for yeah. great praise and straight and trash. Uh, don't expect anything. Podcast at gmail dot com. Yeah. Put it in, right in the subject. We uh, how much you love us. Yeah, and if, otherwise and, and, you're just going to be ignored. And if you if you rate us on iTunes, uh, five stars would be nice. We frankly earned it. Mm. Yeah. We we there's a lot of I'm physically sweating so yeah I've I've worked hard I'm yeah. like Sisyphus I've climbed and if it. If you sincerely have any issues, use the uh, YouTube comment section. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Someone's sure to be listening. I always read those. I read everyone. I respond to everyone. Mm. And um, gravity of those really sinks in. Yeah, Sandra Bullock. Yeah, and uh, George. Is he in that movie? Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> the grill master himself drains all the fat and leaves the cream of the fat. This has gone off the rails. Hey, well, that's uh, that's the nature of, uh, you know, what we do. And rails. Yeah, rails have to end sometime, Jeremy. Yes. Poor train. Yeah. <laughs> How about it's one of those circle tracks that goes under Christmas trees? Alright, get the fuck out of the room. <laughs> they make no sense.